pit boss has been throwing the breaker switch a couple of times over the last seven or eight cooks, thinking it might be the igniter rod. All of a sudden, a few cooks ago, it wouldn't light at all. So I haven't tested anything yet to be sure that it's the rod, but I needed to do some work on the fire pot and the rod anyway. So I'm gonna assume that's what the problem is and get that changed out. We're gonna get the pellets purged out of the hopper. We'll get this taken apart and we'll get you a look at what we're doing. We went ahead and removed the grates, the sear plate and the barrel plate. All I have left to do is get this diffuser out of the way. Just a little bit still in the way, even when it's open, but it's easy to fix. We just take the handle off, pull it out of there. We purged all the pellets and we've already got the bottom plate of this hopper assembly off. Now you can get it all the wiring you need to from the bottom of this. I'm going to go ahead and take the hopper loose. I don't like laying on my back, looking up at things. So we're going to go ahead and get this started. And I figure while I've got this apart, we're going to go ahead and clean up these temperature probes. They get very black. It doesn't give you as accurate a reading. A little bit of easy off oven cleaner on those. We'll be good to go. We've got the diffuser out now. So we're just going to go ahead and take these four screws out. Once we do that, that pot will turn and lift out of there. We'll be able to disconnect everything, run the wiring back out. While we're doing that, we've got our heat sensing probe on this side coated with some easy off oven cleaner. Same thing up here. By the time we're done working on this, that'll all just wipe off. We had to take this little cover off, simple couple of screws. So we'll get started on this and we'll keep you going. Once we removed the four screws holding the fire pot in place, pretty simple. We turned it counterclockwise about an eighth of a turn, if even that, and it lifts out of there. It can get stuck a little bit, but it does definitely come out of there. If you're wondering why I'm replacing the fire pot and not just the igniter rod, a while back, my igniter rod pulled out to where it wasn't in contact with the pellets. When I put it back in and tightened it down, this screw from being used for the last couple years, hot and cold, hot and cold, it snapped. So I needed the new fire pot anyway, pretty easy fix, $30 for the rod and the pot. So next we're gonna get this hopper assembly off so I can get a look inside, get the wires connected and unconnected, and away we go. We've got our hopper assembly off you can see you get a little buildup of pellet dust under that fan. I stated earlier in this video that I'm not running a lot of tests. Since all the fans are working, we have a fan here, a fan underneath that actually fans the pot. Lighting was coming on. Everything is working, except it's not lighting. So I got to believe the fuse is not blown. So we're going to go ahead and disconnect this wire. For the igniter, it's the two white wires coming out of the grill here. Normally we would feed this igniter back through, but we're going to have to cut it because I can't get it loose where that screw is broken off. So we'll get the new one out here and get it assembled. We've got the old fire pot out. Like I said, I just needed to clip that fitting so we could pull that back through. Fire pot went in exactly as it should have. You just put it in a little bit turned and set it down in. I did have to lift up on this auger tube to get it to seat correctly. We put the screws back in it. We've gone ahead and wiped down our probes. Look at those, those are shining like brand new. That's what I'm talking about. Give us a little bit more accurate reading on our temps. So we had to take this grommet out to feed that auger or to feed that wire back in there. So we're just gonna go ahead and put this grommet back in right there where the wires come out, connect the wires. We vacuumed out all the sawdust that was in there. So we'll go ahead and get this connected, get the hopper assembly back together, fire it up and see if my hunch is right. Worst thing that can happen, I'll take it apart again. 
We'll be back in a minute. We've got our hopper assembly all back together. Plate on the bottom is back on. Refilled the pellets. You can see that that igniter rod is only sticking out about an eighth to a quarter inch. We don't want that too far in, guys. So we're plugged in, we're ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and start the grill. See if we can get some smoke coming out of this thing. Pellets are feeding in nicely. I can smell the rod burning, the freshness of the burn on that rod. We'll see if we can get some pellets lit. And I think we've accomplished what we set out to do here. Uh, we've definitely got some smoke. We good. Not a bad process, guys. We'll go ahead and get this burned in, put everything back together. Not gonna barbecue today, but it's working for tomorrow for sure.